I want to show you here uh, some accessories and some upgrades that we're going to make for a new firearm coming up in a video. Okay, so here you'll see we have the Ferrotech. This is the strong arm pistol brace adapter that Ferrotech makes. That allows you to put the strong arm brace to attach to a Chris Vector stock. You'll see the brace is one piece. Nice and oiled. Good looking piece. Comes in a little back package like this to ship to you through USPS. Uh, let's see, there is Ferrotech's information in case you would like to get in touch with them. Gives you an idea what's there, and you get a little sticker with them too. Kind of cool. But, let's get that out of the way. Uh, this makes it adaptable to the regular Chris Vector stock, which I have the bag here saved for it, just for this purpose. There's your barcode in case you need it. And. All of this is made possible with the strong arm pistol brace adapter by Double Star. You'll see it's a nice hunk of metal. Here's everything on the adapter, all the reading barcodes, in case you need those. Comes in your blister pack. And you get the adapter. This is the one with the QD sling swivel. So you can actually attach that right off there by pushing that button out you go and here's the actual mount now you'll notice some screws and things aren't on here that is because I unscrewed a lot of stuff prior to the video to try to save time so you'll see with the pistol brace you have the strap right here that goes around your arm for whenever you're shooting because this goes on the back I'm just gonna leave that there there are two screws in this now how this works is with the adapter here you'll see this ridge on the bottom that ridge is made to fit in that trail or that little uh, slide cut there you just drop it in fits right in and the screws that are normally in here as you see I took one out already this one is just kind of pre-screwed in so let's go ahead and drop the other one in the screws actually hold it in place, as you can see, because of the spacing they put on there. So it's pretty cleverly made. And if you're not an idiot like me, you can actually get these through correctly. Which I seem to be having problems with because I'm kind of special sometimes. Oh, well, found out it's because I had it backwards. So as you'll see, I'll drop the screws in like that. If you slide them in this way, in they go. They both fit in, no problem. So there is only one way this will fit. So if you pull them back out, and I'm doing all this for the first time just to let you know so you'll see me kind of make some mistakes here. It's okay. We all learn. So if you drop them in this way, while it looks better when it's flush, the screw does not have enough room to go all the way through right there. So it's made for one way. So drop it through. And what I mean by one way is you'll notice this is straight on one end and angled on the other end. It's a little hard to see, but there is an angular positioning to this. Alright, so we're going to drop both of those in there. You get to see my dirty, 
dirtiness here as I scrape my nail against it. And these use with my high tech Walmart tool. That is a 532 Allen wrench. Allen key, whatever you want to call it. So we're just going to tighten that down a bit. If we turn it the right way, righty tighty, lefty loosey. I am kind of an idiot when it comes to mechanicals, so bear with me. second one don't worry I'm not going to do this with all four of those screws you see sitting there all right so it's nice and tight it does not move at all that sucker's in there onto the stock when you do get a Chris Vector stock because we're going to turn this stock into a brace so it is ATF approved which you can see on the back here ATF approved so it's not illegal which is good. So on this stock, you'll see you've got four holes. One here, one here, there, and there. Inside each of those holes is one of these little tiny Allen key screws. Allen wrench screws, whatever you want to call it. Little bitty. There's four of them. I already took three of them out. This one's undone mostly because I knew this was going to take a minute. But this one takes a... 564th on there. Bottom key. So I'll just put that in there and screw that. Did I put that in backwards? It's easier to skip with my finger. There we go. I'm not an idiot as much as I thought. So, 564th. Alright, once the, all four of those are undone, this will actually come out. Now, one of the cool things about these stocks is they are adjustable. For So, if you want extra length on them or not, you can. You see all the little spots. But we're turning it into a brace today, so we're not worried about that. Once that's out, you put that in there. And now, do you see what I'm talking about with a little space? flush the other way but you get a little bit of space this way but that's okay so then you would put your little bolt screw thing back in there Allen key screw you guys already know I'm horrible at terminology as far as the ones on the bottom they're not holding anything but I'd put them back in there just so you don't lose them you don't have to put them in there, because now that I think about it, like, you think of the fire and the gun, might loosen those up enough to unscrew. Put a little bit of Loctite if you're uncertain. You'll be good to go. I always have problems threading screws. There we go. But you see there's a little bit of play in it. We'll fix that by tightening this down. Getting my handy dandy screwdriver, Allen key thingy, whatever you call it out. Alright. This is what I get for recording videos at midnight whenever my brain has ceased to function. And if you haven't already noticed, which some of you probably have, that's usually when I record videos. It's late at night. It's nice and quiet. And forgive the rattling in the background. That is a window rattler AC unit because it is hot as balls in Florida. Alright, so we're tightened down. Nice and tight on both sides. I didn't tighten it too much because I don't like doing that. Now you'll see. That sucker doesn't go anywhere. So now you have the strong arm pistol brace adapter. Or strong arm pistol brace attached with the strong arm pistol brace adapter from Ferrotech. See there is a little gap. It's nice and beefy. It's got a good feel to it. I like it all in all. You see this comes out, you can strap it around however you need to to get it back around your hand. You can switch it on both sides if you need to loop it differently. But 
I like it. I think it's going to be a great addition to the firearm. It's going to make it look good. And with a Chris Vector, I don't think you can get much better than having the actual made stock for it. I mean, some of them are pretty good, but I just love the nice clear cutout of the stock. Because again, Chris Vectors have two different types. You have this upper, which has the hinged adapter, which is what this uses. Or you have the ones after 2017, which do not have the hinge on the back. So you see the difference. When I got into Chris Vectors, I didn't know much about them. I figured that out the hard way after I purchased it. So, eh, gives you a heads up if you didn't know, like I didn't, because well, I didn't research it at all. I just thought they were one shape. I learned differently now, and if you didn't know, maybe now you know differently, and I could save you some money, because I actually had to buy the upper with that hinged adapter separately so I could get it in there, which a nice little tip. If you purchase the uh, Chris Vector after 2017, well, if it's manufactured after 2017, you'll get this regular straight adapter back here with a little cutie attachment, which I just unplugged. Put that back in there. But if you get the one that's pre, it'll have the hinge pre-2017. You can purchase these uppers off of Chris's website. One thing I noticed, because uh, I did get the 45 ACP, that one is always out of stock. But I confirmed it with the people that work there because I'm OCD like that and I like to m make sure I do things the right way. I purchased the 9mm upper and all you have to do is switch out the ejection port and purchase the 45 ejection port for them it was like eight dollars five eight dollars it was pretty cheap but this is the correct ejection port for this one so I can take the nine millimeter ejection port which is currently installed take it out put in the 45 ejection port and there you go this is now a 45 upper that's really all it takes I didn't know it was that simple so that's really cool the modularity of it I am learning this as I'm showing it to you it's kind of an on-the-job training scenario here but uh, if to switch out the ejection ports, you just undo these two Allen key screws, which, let me go ahead and give you the size on those. Those are, nope, that one is too big. Those are, that one is too small. There we go. All right, so you are looking at a 764th. So those just come undone there. Unscrew them right out. I'm giving you a bonus video today on how to switch out the ejector port of a Chris Vector. Little itty bitty screw. Same with this one. Mind you, I haven't done this before. I'm just doing this for the first time to show you. If I mess up, I'll correct myself and show you so you don't make the same mistake I do. Alright, so you got the second screw. I like to keep them in order. This thing comes right out. There we go, that's all it is. So you see there where your screws go? Still oiled, still fresh. Now, one thing, you'll see that little dent there? Word to the wise, because I am not wise. Well, I am now after doing that. When this thing is in there, and your hammer is back, do not pull the trigger. Because unlike most firearms, where there's nothing to hit, when that hammer comes forward, it's going to bang right on your ejection port and leave a nice, lovely little kink in it. Luckily, it didn't affect the hammer at all but yeah so don't do that don't be an idiot like me 
because I like to play with things and figure them out. Of course, I knew it was unloaded and such, but I did not realize it would come forward and smack the ejection port. So that's a little bit of a, uh, a learning uh, experience for me. Once that's out, you put in the new ejection port here, screw it back in nice and tight. Boom, good to go. You now got a 45. But I hope you enjoyed that little bonus lesson there. <laughs> I learned it too at the same time. But that's everything I got for the adapter and the strong arm pistol brace adapter. Let me know what you think down in the comments section. If you like these, if you prefer one of the other ones over top of it. And uh, we'll kind of talk about it there and see what you think. But that's all I have. I hope everybody out there stays safe, stays corona free. Um, you know, I'm talking about the beer or nothing else, obviously. But uh, yeah, that's all. And uh, try to stay inside and stay away from the looters because that's when I'm recording this is around that time. So yeah, everyone out there, have a great one, and bye-bye.